boat off of a sandbar. I love Exuma. We're Matt and Nat, and we've spent the last three years traveling the world as part-time non-remote travelers. After accomplishing our goal of visiting all 50 U.S. states in 2021, we've set out on our next big adventure to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die, well, before we die. In last week's video, we were in Exuma, where we showed you our luxury vacation home and its breathtaking views, visited the stingrays at the famous Chat and Chill Beach Bar, and indulged in a surf and turf dinner prepared by our very own private chef. This week, we continue our Exuma adventures. Welcome to Exuma. Over the next couple of days, we're gonna be exploring some of the beauty that Exuma has to offer. We've actually chartered a boat to get to many of the places that we're gonna be highlighting in this video, and we're starting things off at what they call the Lazy River. Let's go. the best. And the fact that Matt is now Captain Matt is even cooler. Captain Matt, you got us here. I got us here with the guidance of Captain Cleve. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, so we are at spot number two. We don't really know the exact name, but as you can tell, there's not really a lot of people around here. The one thing that I love about Exuma is literally around every single bend is just a beautiful spot. Oh yeah, there's too many of them for them to name, really. <laughs> this is still part of the same key that we were just at with the Lazy River. It's just a little ways up, maybe a 10 minute boat ride or so. One of my favorite parts about this spot is we can see our house from where we're standing right, right now. Right here. I mean, just absolutely 
stunning around every corner, like Natalie said. I literally cannot stop taking videos and photos, and it's just a blue water, <laughs> but I am such a fan. Also, we're having to get used to island time. We're yes. not the best at that because we're very type A personalities. <laughs> if you've watched our videos before, you know we are very much cram as much into mm -hmm. as little time as we can, and we're having to work on that this trip. <laughs> we're not mad at it. No. We're just having to look inwardly and realize we need to fix ourselves a little bit because why would we want to rush through this experience? Mm -hmm. And our local guides, Cleve, Lamont, and Cray, they have been great. So fun. And it's just been a realization of, you know what? We just need to chill out. We're just going to go with this. the flow and <laughs> enjoy. I don't think you can go wrong with anywhere in Exuma, if I'm being honest. And I have only seen a very, very small part of it. <laughs> and we're going to go explore the unnamed stop number two. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> nothing. I saw more at the house when we saw that lionfish. But it still was a lot of fun. I started against the current and then just let it push me back to the shore. Ooh, good workout in. Cheers! I love Exuma. My own private beach. So what I'm finding out about this beach and this little island is during the late afternoon, a lot of people come here and set up tents for sunset and they have like little grills. So this isn't as secret as I thought it was because it was completely empty when we first came. But I mean, I can see why people want to use this spot for sunset. After being on the water all day, we are starving a little bit. So we are actually in our rental house. And if you haven't seen that video, check out the link above. It is beyond amazing. The views are stunning. So we're just gonna eat a little bit and take in the views. Also, whatever this homemade bread is right here mm. and here that was compliments of Old Ike Bay, which is the property that we're staying at. Oh, Incredible. Amazing. I don't know what it is. It's like banana bread. We think it's guava bread. Whatever it is. It's delicious. This right here, super rich. It's great with my famous tuna salad. Which Natalie has sitting over here ready to go. Look at that. It's not appetizing. Don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> famous tuna salad on some freshly baked Bahamian bread. Mm. After being out on that crystal clear water, I mean, I'm in heaven right now. Natalie's famous tuna salad. Slaps every time. <laughs> I am getting so sleepy now. <laughs> I think the sun took it out of us. And yeah. after having like a really nice lunch and a full stomach, I think it's time for siesta. Yeah, I believe it is. So yeah. we'll see you guys after we freshen up for dinner. We freshened up. <laughs> now let's go get some dinner. Okay, side note, we have to drive on the other side of the road. At night. So let's Which hope we, this goes well. We haven't done that since Ireland and that's been a little while, so. Let's go. <laughs> So this is something I've never done, which is drive on a left-hand vehicle. So our normal vehicles like we have in the US, but driving it on the other side of the road. Huh. So let's see how this goes. Don't hit my side, okay? <laughs> Don't hit anything, that's the goal. <laughs> You're doing great. It's honestly easier in a left-hand drive car because I'm used to driving this side of the car. I just gotta do it on the other side of the road. Also, this is a great time to mention that we're here during the winter. That means the sun sets super early. Hence why we didn't have that much time for activities today. Yep. And why we're doing dinner well after dark. Because <laughs> normally we'd like to do a sunset dinner or something like uh -huh, that. But the sun sets way too soon, so. <laughs>
Guys, this place is such a vibe. They have little cabanas that you can sit out, have the ocean breeze, and I'm sure when the sun is setting, this oh. is the place to be. And they have someone up there playing steel pan drum, uh, cover songs. It's just a really cool vibe here. We are seated in one of their cabanas, which you can reserve um, ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I think there's a fee attached to it. But, I think so. But they've been super kind to us since they knew we were coming and said they wanted to give us great treatment. So, And we're not getting eaten up by bugs right now. So no, I am a fan. <laughs> the, the breeze is blowing. I yeah. mean, I can just imagine what these views would be like. Oh yeah, daytime, beautiful. So come here and tag us with your cool photos. Yeah. <laughs> For our appetizer, we got the Bang Bang Conk and Lobster Mix. You can get just conk or just lobster. We asked our sweet waitress what she recommended and she said she always recommends to mix them. So this is apparently one of the popular items. All the guys that we were out on the boat with today raved about the Bang Bang Conk and Lobster here. So let's give it a try. Ooh. That's delicious. That bang bang sauce, it's house made, apparently a chef specialty, and it is perfectly sweet and tangy with a little bit of that spice on the tail end, and then you get that fresh lobster in there as well. Oh, so freaking good. He's going back in for seconds. Yeah, your turn. Oh my gosh, so good. Like you said, sweet and spicy. Oh my gosh, that's heaven. <laughs> this is so good. I don't think I've ever had anything like it. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna share it with you. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. That is true. Yeah, you're right. You're right. She's got my back over here. I appreciate it. So our entrees just got here oh and my gosh. they look and smell incredible. I got the grilled lobster and it is humongous. <laughs> it is. Also, the guys told us today that they love their mashed potatoes here, so they I did. made sure to get some mashed potatoes. <laughs> I got the blue seafood pasta. It's a fettuccine pasta with an Alfredo sauce and it has lobster, grouper, and shrimp in it. And I can't wait to dive in. So much good seafood in here. Let's give a try to the pasta first, I guess. The pasta itself is cooked very nicely al dente, which I love. Let's give one of these shrimp a try. Mm, very nicely seasoned. Got like a blackened seasoning on it. Nice saltiness with a little bit of kick. Really good. I'm trying the mashed potatoes first because I am a mashed potato girl. So, oh, the guys today did not steer me wrong. <laughs> Absolutely amazing mashed potatoes, and I'm very picky with my mashed potatoes, that okay? <laughs> I'd like to say I'm a mashed potato connoisseur. Oh my gosh, this lobster. That's a lot of lobster. I know, I've been such a good girl today. Oh wow. It's grilled. I think it has the same blackened seasoning that Matt Shrimp probably has. It's a little spicy. It's got really, really great flavor. Honestly, I am such a fan. I can't wait to eat this whole thing. <laughs> we had to create our own light out here because it is pretty pitch black, to be honest. It's yeah, because it would be a beautiful sunset right now. Oh, I can't even this. imagine these views. <laughs> this grouper is really delicious, very fresh. It's seasoned less than the shrimp, but it's a good thing because it's not overpowering the grouper. Mm -hmm. So you still get the flavor of the grouper. Ooh. Right. And the Alfredo sauce. Yes, yeah, nice cream. It's really good. That's delicious. Now I should mention too, this lobster is Exuma lobster. Exuma spiny. Yeah, spiny lobster, yep. I'm a fan of it though. They don't have big claws like Maine lobster. Oh, yeah, do. they don't. How's everything? Oh, it Phenomenal. It's delicious. All right. Wonderful. Mm. Thank you. We're obsessed. <laughs> we might move in here. You should. <laughs> here you want to try a piece of lobster? Oh, you okay. have lobster in there, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, well then never mind, I'll wait you might Haven't even tried it yet. What? I am absolutely stuffed, but if you know me, you know I can't turn down a good dessert. So here we are. We have their house-made cheesecake drizzled in chocolate and caramel sauce. Let's give it a try. Cheesecake is super creamy, not very dense or heavy like some cheesecakes can be. And the sauces aren't overly sweet, which is really nice. I'm a fan. Oh, what? Okay, tell you a little secret. I'm not a huge fan of cheesecakes, but whatever's in this, I'm a fan. It's not super dense. It's a little bit lighter and fluffier. Okay, well, let's go eat it now. <laughs> Gotta go on the other side. Yeah. There's only one side. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> Yeah. 
As you saw, dinner was absolutely mm -hmm. delicious, and we can see why every local that we have talked to has recommended Blue on the Water as one of the top dining experiences here in Exuma. Definitely recommend. <laughs> but now we're gonna go get some rest because we have another full day of adventuring tomorrow. See you then. <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> From beautiful Exuma, Bahamas. We have a, another full day out on the water plan today yeah. with Captain Cleve. He's gonna be taking us around on his boat again. I think the other guys, I think Lamont and Cray are both gonna come along as well and hang out. I think so too. We don't really know where we're going. No idea. I, I did request a good snorkel spot, so I'm <laughs> hoping that's in the cards for us today. We're pretty much relying on these guys to just take us to some of their favorite spots because pretty much all but one of them has lived here their entire lives practically. Um, and they haven't steered us wrong yet. And they haven't Unintended. steered us wrong. <laughs> good, good one. So we're just trusting their recommendations. So we're just along for the ride with them. Now, if you have heard of Exuma, then you probably know of the swimming with the pigs yes. and, and the, the swimming sharks. with the nurse sharks and all of those things. And while we would love to fit those in on this trip, our trip was a little bit short for us to want to be able to do that because that is actually a like way north. Yeah, it's like a two hour boat ride north from where we are. And you would probably need a little bit bigger of a boat than we're doing. Our, the boat we're on is kind of great for running around the Keys here around where we're at but that two hour boat ride north you need at minimum a half day to do it that uh -huh. kind of trip we talked to the guys and they said they actually recommend a full day and we just didn't have an extra full day so yeah. we'll definitely have to come back to the exumas <laughs> to do that because yes. that is on our list for sure but now we're going to go eat some of this bread before we get on the water for the day So I thought I would get a little bit of sun and lay in the chase lounge on the balcony while we wait for Cleve, our captain, to come and pick us up for a day of adventures. It seriously doesn't get better than this view. I have so many bug bites on my feet and legs, <laughs> and this feels good. So bring bug spray, we'll have a packing list in our blog, so check it out. Starfish Beach, here we come! Let's go! Starfish Beach, and yep. it is absolutely beautiful yeah. and tranquil. Yes, it is only accessible by boat. They actually have a bar on site, though, with a pool table, which is pretty impressive. I don't know who thought it would be a great idea to haul a pool table out in the sand. And anyway, it's <laughs> amazing. It, it's amazing. Called the Sand Bar. They have drinks over there, all the things you need for a wonderful day in the sun. They even have a beach volleyball net, which I don't know if you can see back behind me there. Really cool spot. Maybe we'll even get a little snorkel in. And maybe we'll see some starfish since I assume there should be some <laughs> with it knows? being called Starfish <laughs> Beach, but I have no idea. <laughs> play pool at this beach bar. <laughs> Check us out, Island Hospitality, the best to ever do it, okay? He's not wrong. <laughs> Get to sign our name. Where are we gonna do it? Right here. 
So if you ever are here and you see our names, please take a picture and tag us because that would make my day. So here's where it is. This is this is the bar. It's right underneath, right there. Man, that 24. today is it's a bit overcast. There's a lot of clouds. Lots of clouds and lots of wind, even more than yesterday. But we're still gonna make the best of it. That's right. Because we're in the Caribbean, baby! <laughs> Come to the sandbar. Oh, it's called the sandbar shot. Y'all gotta get it. It's so good. That was actually good. really good. It really, really was. Good. I didn't so. even make a face at the end. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta come see Trina and get the sandbar shot. And just like that, the sun is back out. We're actually gonna go eat at Chill and Chat. So check that out in our video, but I'm so excited. Like and subscribe! <laughs> And we're not even on Starfish Beach anymore. No, we're on to Chat and Chill Beach, but <laughs> so cool. Just let it go. That was so much fun. Now let's go eat. Loving it. Amazing. Zuma's yeah, been amazing. And, and despite what Short Boss says, Mon and Cray have been great. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so you having a good time? Absolutely, yeah. man. Thank you for taking chat chill. Hope to see you guys again. You've been great. Oh I would give you guys a straw, but I'm going to teach you the island life. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. You gotta Let's go, go for it. For it. Let's All right. go for it. The perfect combo with a cheeseburger from Chat and Chill. Yes, sir. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> and Captain Cleve said he prefers beer. Always. <laughs> Me and Captain Clean. Hey. That's the best jelly. I'm not a huge fan of like slimy texture. I'll take this one. Oh, I didn't want to have to eat it. I did it.
chill was a success. Now we're headed back on the boat to go probably back home. We are just along for the ride. <laughs> yes, not our forte. <laughs> we're learning how to be just along for the ride. More on island time. Yes, and we're adjusting nicely. I think so. I think so. <laughs> migraine towards the end of the day on the boat and it has taken me about two hours to recover. I got motion sick when we had to push the boat. Oh man, it was rough. I was nauseous. I was so excited when I got back on land and I couldn't even get up on the boat. Cleve had it. Pick me up. I was like, I don't even care, man. <laughs> Well, that was an adventure <laughs> for sure. That it was. My first time ever having to push a boat off of a sandbar. Oh my gosh, I never, I didn't think we were gonna get home. I was praying, I was like, Lord, please just get us home. We definitely, there was definitely a little bit of time there that I wasn't sure we were gonna make it. Thankfully, Cleve, our boat captain, yeah. I don't think he ever doubted it, but he did say that was his first time in his 45 years that he's ever been stuck on a sandbar. And I told him I was glad we could be a part of that event with him. <laughs> we literally all got out of the boat and Every one of pushed us. it, which I don't even think I got video of it, obviously, because we were all pushing yes. the boat. <laughs> we jumped back in and we made it home. Quite the experience. We actually had plans to go to dinner tonight to another mm -hmm. local restaurant that came highly recommended, but with it taking a little bit longer to get in and by the time we got unpacked off the boat, loaded up and everything, it was pitch black dark. Yeah. And it's a... 30 minute ride, like one way to the restaurant that we were gonna go to. So we decided to stay in and eat chips and salsa. And Cause we have a really early morning flight, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> but make sure you guys check out our blog because we're gonna be putting a bunch of different recommendations yes. for things to do, see and eat while yes. you're here in Exuma. Because obviously we didn't even get to scratch the surface of what yeah. Exuma has to offer. I feel um, like you could be here for weeks on end and still not experience everything. For sure. And we only really experienced three or four places and could have spent long at every one of those yeah. places. We would go and end up hanging out and meeting more locals and just mm -hmm. having a good time. So we definitely hope to come back and check off some more of the amazing Exuma bucket list items that they have to offer here. And we hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. So make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button. And tune in next week to see where we're going next. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my God, it's been recording this whole time. I didn't leave Matt much room. He's not let me forget it. Oh my gosh. Oh, sassy thing. Oh! <laughs> Sandbar got my butt. So we are now at Sandbar. Starfish. <laughs> you call it Sandbar Beach every time. Matt is a diva out of the two of us. Oh my gosh. Ready for some ghost stories? <laughs> when it's literally like, I said literally. I'm trying to work on it, guys. Can you tell me who cut that? Because you saw mine. I cut it in like triangles, none of them matched. And Matt was like, no, it needs to be symmetrical. That's why I love him so much. The song. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, my lobster was just hanging on by the tail. Okay. This is going to be way easier than I thought. <laughs> you just pick it up and eat it like a hot dog. 
Don't tempt me with a good time. Sweet Carolina is a favorite for all. Mm -hmm. <laughs>